Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In today's makeup tutorial, I am going to show you how I created this eye look, which is actually a look that I was wearing for a photo shoot that I did at home. It was not really a professional photo shoot, but it was just like a kind of, I want to do a photo shoot myself kind of moment. So I wanted to do something a little bit more editorial, um, which is a little bit more extreme if i could say so it's not like your typical everyday eye look so it's a little bit more dramatic but i hope you guys like it and i hope you will enjoy the video so the first thing i'm gonna do is prime the eyelids like i always do it doesn't matter what eye look i'm creating i always prime the eyelids and today i'm gonna play with this palette which is by ColourPop. Um, i will put the exact name of the product in the description bar just like i do with all the other products um, it has four shades i swatched them on my finger so you can see all four of them. I'm gonna start with the matte purple shade with a super tiny brush which is by Suifa Cosmetics. I'm gonna use this to create a line in my crease area. So please don't mind my hair. I did this myself and it was so hard. I really love the trend where people create these really cool curly edges in their hair. I think it's so cool but it's so hard to do it yourself. Like was the first time I did it myself so Probably when I would do it more often, I would probably get better at it, but this was my first time and it was really hard. Um, obviously in this video, you're gonna see it really up close, so you can see how not perfect it is. So I don't want you guys to think that this is perfect because it's definitely not, but I just wanted to mention that. Also, I used a lot of glue, a lot of hairspray. So the hairspray actually kind of created this really rough, textured layer on top of my skin uh, which looks kind of weird i hope it's not too obvious but i can definitely tell uh, also i did my hair before applying foundation which was not really smart of me because how am i gonna apply foundation in between those curly hairs it was really hard and in real life it didn't really look flawless it looked a little bit messy so definitely a lesson that i'm gonna try to remember for the next time I'm gonna try this. But yeah, you can see what I'm doing. First, I created that line in the crease and then I went in with a blending brush, which is by Sigma Beauty, which is included in the brush kit that I created together with Sigma. I have it linked down in the description bar. I blended that same shade kind of like on top of it. And then I went back in with a tiny blending brush um, and applying more of the dark purple to intensify. You can kind of go back in with a bigger brush, a tinier brush, um, depends on what you want to do. Like the, the bigger and the softer the brush is, the softer the blending is going to be. And if you use more of a tinier, stiffer brush, the application is going to be more harsh. So I wanted the area around the line to be more soft and I wanted the line to be more thicker and a little bit more obvious to see. That's kind of the look that I'm going for. Some people might watch this and they think it's not really blended out perfectly, but that's actually what I want it to be. So now I'm going in with some concealer and I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. I'm going to use this to cut the crease and I'm also going to use this concealer all over the eyelids. So now for the next step, I'm going to take this glittery shade. Um, I first use my brush, but I always tell you guys this in my videos. You can also use your finger. This will work just as easy. Um, but if you want to apply it kind of around that line, 
that crease line, you want to be a little bit more precise. So make sure you don't apply the glitter on top of where I just applied the purple because that's just kind of going to ruin the look. Sometimes when you open your eyes and you close your eyes, the glitter is still kind of going to transfer on top of the matte purple shade. An easy trick for this is that you can use a glitter glue and softly press it on top of your shimmery eyeshadow. This is kind of going to make your eyeshadow waterproof and you're gonna notice less fallout with your glitter. Sometimes it still happens, but this is definitely a trick that will definitely minimize the transferring from the glitter in the crease area. So now I went back in with a dark purple shade. I used a angled brow brush, uh, which is the E75, if I'm not mistaken. It's also included in my brush kit with Sigma Beauty. It's actually originally a brow brush, so you can use it for your brows, but I personally really like to use it for my eyeliner. It's my favorite eyeliner brush. So I'm using this eyeshadow for my eyeliner and I really love the effect that the eyeshadow above the lash line now kind of fades into that line that we created in the crease area. I think it just looks really beautiful. So of course everything I'm doing at one side, I'm also doing at the other side. Also, if you love my brows in this video, I did more of a fluffy brow uh, effect today because I felt like for a photo shoot, um, it looks a little bit more natural. Um, I have a video where I show how I do this. So I will link that video down in the description bar in case you're curious how to create this soft, bushy brow effect. So now I'm using a E50 flat definer brush from Sigma, which is also included in the brush kit that I created with Sigma which I have linked down in the description bar and I used it underneath the lower lash line with that same purple shade and then I went in with this light kind of like pinky lilac shade and I used that in the waterline. This pencil is by Marc Jacobs. I felt like this pencil did not really show a lot of color payoff. I think because the tip dried out, I think I didn't close it well. So that's completely my fault. I actually really like um, the Marc Jacobs eyeliner pencils, they're really good. So I think this is actually my fault that I didn't close the cap. So I used a light shade underneath the lower lash line and then I went back in with that shimmery color which I used all over the eyelids and I popped more of that shade in the inner corner of the eye and also at the beginning part underneath the lower lash line. Uh, if you recreate this makeup look and you wanna keep it a little bit more soft, obvi obviously you can skip this part, you can give your own twist to this eye look. If there's something you don't like, you don't have to do it, you can definitely give your own twist to this makeup look. So then I quickly curled my lashes and I went in with this mascara from Maybelline, which has quickly became one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. It is so good that I didn't even want it to go in with fake lashes. So this is the end result. Um, let me know if you enjoy watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let me know if you're gonna try it out in the comment section. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. I don't even know why I'm here You've been so distant lately Taking your time, losing my mind Yeah, do I even care anymore?